to start. See, last class, uh, I spoke of this. Must be we have spoken almost some um, uh, four hours, if I if I am right. And uh, what exactly we spoke in the last four hours regarding APS is very important. We'll have a quick recall. We'll have a quick recall and we'll try to. You can sit there. So, we will try to have a quick recall what we try to understand and uh, hopefully we will try to finish the remedy of this Malifika. Okay. Now, what did we do or what was done in the last uh, four classes? Very good. Uh, we spoke of sphere of action, absolutely right. Pathogenesis, ailments from thermals, yes. We spoke of uh, particulars, we also spoke of modalities, very good. See, see if, you, if you remember, under the heading interaction, I told you a lot of things, like for example, sphere of action, pathogenesis, ailments from, they all common name, prover, which year, all those things we discussed under the heading introduction. Okay. And if interaction is clear, next we spoke about the characteristic symptoms. There were plenty of symptoms in Apis mellifica. Out of those plenty of symptoms we had, there were few which were very, very peculiar, okay, which were very, very rare, queer, uncommon. So those symptoms we made a list and I explained you under PQRS. Hope this is clear. One last thing, any doubts you have related to this, please feel free. So that we will take up the doubts and then I will continue with a very important part of APIS. Okay. Now we also spoke of particulars. Many of you rightly said. What is a particular symptom? A symptom pertaining to a particular part. From head to toe, we ex exclusively saw what APIS mellifica can produce in proving. And I also gave you a small clue. To understand particular symptoms, you have a small method or you have a for small formula. What was that formula we discussed? Keep the sphere of action, keep the ailments in mind, the PQRS and of course the modalities. If you have a knowledge of all these things, then particular symptoms will become easy. Okay. And of course the allied subjects, anatomy, physio, pharmacy and all those things, okay. Now, uh, any questions related to what we spoke? It's a common thing I'm asking all of you. Any questions? No. Okay. See, if everything related to this part is clear, then we'll explore a very interesting part in Apis Mellifica. And this interesting part is the mind of Apis Mellifica, okay. So, this is what in homeopathy we call the mental symptoms of Apis Mellifica. Now, we have different ways of understanding the mental symptoms, okay? And I am trying to introduce you to one method and this method is not a scientific method, but for a student, if you understand the mentals through this method, you can remember this much, much better in your uh, future, okay? Now, uh, what is that I am trying to tell you here is, I am just asking you a very simple question. What behavior of a piece mellifica or we will make it very simple. What behavior of honeybee you are all aware of? Yeah, very good. Okay. I mean, yeah, I am happy you are coming up with some right answers. Uh, one of your friends says jealousy. The other friend says they are workaholic. They are revengeful. Fine. Now, what made you think of revengeful? Yeah, fine. If you disturb, it stinks. Fine. One of your friends used the word anger. They are very irritable creatures. They does not want to be disturbed. They does not want to be touched. If you go meddle with it, if you go touch with it, naturally it will start stinging you. Fine. Be sting. It will start stinging you. So, a creature in the nature which is hardly, I mean which is uh, hard working, 
and uh, many times we should have uh, heard of this English, uh, you know, word. Your teacher, your parents would have used busy bee. Busy bee, busy bee. Meaning, you are busy like a bee. So bees are known to be very busy creatures. And uh, rightly said by your friend, bees are known for jealousy. Now, what is the jealousy you want to talk of in uh, Atis Malikika? The honeybee. Honeybee is the most jealous creature available on the universe. It is not what I have said, I have taken it from Google. Fine. It is the most uh, jealous creature, it seems. Now, what is that jealousy you have in Atis? We will try to explore. So, few things you have tried to tell me here is, you have tried to tell me here is, they are very busy, they are irritated, they are angry, there is a lot of jealousy in Atis. Okay. Now, the next question that comes up is, can we correlate the same with the mental picture of Apis Malefica? Yes or no? Yes? How many of you are for no? None of you are for no. See now, as I already gave you a small clue, these examples of understanding a creature better and we are trying to apply the same in the material America. This is not scientific. Okay? But it will help us understand and remember the remedy better. Okay? So tomorrow if somebody is very busy doing something, at least as a second year student, one remedy will come to your mind and what is that remedy? That remedy is a test. You see a person who is jealous, okay? uh, one teacher prays your friend and you start feeling jealous. Okay? Then, or, or you know, you are very irritable, very angry. I will explain all that, fine, but at least before you look into the materia medica, looking at the bee or understanding the nature of the bee, you already know there could be few things coming up in the drug proving, okay. So next 20-30 minutes we will try to explore, what are we trying to explore? We are trying to explore the mind symptoms of Apis mellifica, okay. Like always, a simple question. What is that question? What is a mental symptom? We discuss what a characteristic symptom is. We discuss what a particular symptom is. Okay. Now the question is, what is a mental symptom? Symptoms which are pertaining to mind. Okay. And you know, we are made in two parts: mind and body, the physical body and a dynamic uh, this thing. So what you need to understand here is. Body can produce some symptoms, fine, what we call it as the particular symptoms. Similarly, there will be something related to the mind and these symptoms are what we call it as mental symptoms. Can I have some quick examples for mental symptoms? Simple examples. Huh? Irritability, beautiful, anger. Huh? Depressed. Good, okay, I am sorry, I did not hear you. Sadness, depression. Confusion, yes. Hallucination, you think, you see a thread there, you see a rope there, and what do you think? Oh, snake. So like, you know, being happy, why sad? Being happy, joyful, cheerful. My friend, if you say, describe yourself, sir, this guy is a very cheerful guy. That girl, sir, very dangerous, sir. Why dangerous? Well, you, sir, we never know how our mood is, sir. Two minutes is laughing, next two minutes we can't predict. Very moody girl. So being moody is also a mental symptom. Fine? Right? Okay? Being helpful. I mean, you got a lot of symptoms to do with mind. Uh, you know, as you grow with homeopathy, you realize there are a lot of things. Jealousy, suspiciousness. Fine? Right? Anger. Okay? Uh, fear. Fear, fear. I am afraid of this, I am afraid of that. You see a cockroach and you start jumping. Okay? More than cockroach flying, you start jumping more. Okay. I mean, each of us will have our own fears. That, fine? So all these things they come under mentors. Confidence. Few of you are very confident. Few are not at all confident. Few of you are very truthful. Sir, Zindagi me I never tell lies. And few of you are exactly opposite. Zindagi me ashta kabi sasne bala sami. So people who never tell uh, truth, 
there are different individuals. And it, this is a very important aspect in homeopathic prescription. Fine? Because mind is very dangerous. Why it is dangerous? When you ask somebody to describe about themselves, who will tell the very negative things about them? Hmm? They might be the worst people. But how will they present to you? Tell me something about you, me? I am the coolest person. I am the best. Okay? Okay? These are the words they use and it can be very misguiding. Okay? So, as you grow, you will slowly understand the art of eliciting mental symptoms. Okay? We will understand that a little later. Let me not jump to that part. But what I am trying to focus today is one integral part of mind, sorry, one integral part of homeopathy or homeopathic prescription is mind. In allopathy, anything to do with mind, you are termed to be a psychic patient. Right? You are termed to be a psychic patient. You talk a little more, then the uh, physician will refer you to department of psychiatry. Uh, go to room number 11. You go to room number 11 and then they would have written department of psychiatry. I laughed a little too much or I spoke a little too much or I was looking a little depressed. So this physician says, no, 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 this is not my case. This case should go to room number 11. I don't know what is there in room number 11. We assume, we assume room number 11 is a psychiatric room, right? So I mean, this is a beautiful part. So what I want you to understand, this being a first drug to you students, the enthusiasm that we showed in explaining the body the same enthusiasm should hold good when you understand or when somebody is talking about the mental symptoms of a remedy. Okay. You have given me a few mental symptoms. We will just see. Uh, I, have, I have few for you. Somebody told the uh, bee is a busy creature. What makes you feel bee is a busy creature? Huh? See, and again, if you just look into Wikipedia, there is a lengthy description about uh, honeybee. And one section of Wikipedia says the bee, they are divided into three groups. One is the queen bee, queen bee. And the second one is drones, the male. And the third one is worker group, the females. They are divided into three. Queen is the top, highest. Queen will not do anything. Its only duty is to have fun. Fine. And you know, she decides with whom she will mate. And I was also reading Wikipedia and it says she will not mate from the male bee of the same colony. You getting my point? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, boys will be feeling, okay, no, no, we will not divert. But what I am trying to tell you is they will not mate from the male bee of the same colony. So it goes in search and it picks up. It picks up, see, it picks up whom she wants to mate with. And in the process of mating, the male bee will die. I mean, this is, this is how the honey bee is. See now, the only duty of a queen bee is that, and queen bee has been very nicely taken care by the uh, other, uh, you know, female, uh, what we call, worker bees, worker bees. And then of course you have the drone base which will uh, uh, take care of the hive and uh, bring the, uh, uh, the nectar and all those things. So they are beautifully categorized fine? into different sections. Okay. No male bee will have uh, guts to oppose the queen. Okay. Only the queen has the uh, what uh, uh, guts to to approach, not from the same colony. Go, chi, you, go. <laughs> I'm going to a different colony. And you know, I pick up the guy I want. Okay? So they'll not look into that. See, these are all the things that will also tell us about how an Apis Malefica lady will be. Do, see, don't only listen to the story I'm trying to tell. The story I'm trying to tell has something behind it. And that is what I want you to understand. And you know, we already saw in the uh, female genitalia of Apis Malefica. What was that? Apis Malefica has increased sexual desire. We'll talk about all those things. So, what made you think of the bee being very busy? 
from what we have seen, we always keep moving from one flower to the other flower in search of nectar, in search of honey. Right? So it's always a very busy creature. It will be making the sound and you know, it will keep going from one flower to another flower. Very busy. Only busy or one more thing that will come to you, come to your mind. Very good, beautiful. They are very restless. They can't sit in a place. They have to keep moving. Good, good observation. They are restless. They are hard working. They are busy. Three points you already got. And, and yeah, they are hard workers. Especially the worker uh, group, no? I mean, if you read Wikipedia, they beautifully narrate what duties they do. Okay? All those things are beautifully narrated. So they are hard workers. And you see this constantly they keep fl uh, flapping their uh, wings. So this also is something, they are very restless and very nervous creature. And uh, surprisingly, you will see the same things coming up in the drug picture of F.S. Malifica. Okay? So, and uh, see there is something called as awkward. I will explain a little later. But for time being, uh, bees, honey bees can be awkward because they commonly drop. If you just, uh, uh, you know, recall one important function of honey bee, apart from collecting the nectar is, it also helps in uh, pollination. Allah, one flower to another flower. So when they are collecting the pollen, they can also drop. Okay, they can also drop. Remember this, after 10 minutes I will explain the situation in Apus Malefica. They are awkward. Yeah, this is what I was trying to tell you. Or one of your friends said, Queen bee, not all honey bees. Queen bee is the most jealous organism in nature. Hence, Apis Malefica patient is also very jealous and very suspicious. Slowly we will try to understand. Why jealousy, why suspiciousness in Apis Malefica. Now what I am trying to tell you here is, I am trying to give you the basic character of honey bee. And in the next slide, we will try to compare. Hope I am clear. Okay? See, females who require Apis Malefica, they behave like a queen. You know, they behave like a queen. Very, uh, what, proud, very arrogant. Why they are proud, they are arrogant? Because they imagine themselves to the queen. And queen is known to be arrogant. Very rarely we see queens who are down to earth. In movies they show down to earth. Uh, feeding poor, poor people. But in reality, you know, queen, you know, generally that's how it is. It's, it's there in the blood. They are very dominating, fine. They are very arrogant because they are the queen. Fine. So, they are very difficult to please. At least women, they are very difficult to please. Very discontented. Very dissatisfied women. Dissatisfaction could be even sexually. Very good. I was a little hesitant to tell, but your friend gave me some support. They are hard to please even sexually. That's why they keep jumping. Or that's why they can also have extra marital affairs. We'll discuss a little later. Yeah, they have intense sexual desire. They have increased sexual desire. Okay. See, beautifully taken again from the Google, Queen Bee practices polyandry. Polyandry means one female mating with many males. Okay. Fine. And Probably this is what you also see in Apis uh, uh, mind that they have increased sexual desire. We already saw that. They are nymphomaniacs. Right? Very difficult to satisfy them sexually. Could be Apis Malefica. Okay? Now we saw this. I, I told you on the PQRS. Honey bee does not like to be touched. Does not like to be interfered. It is busy doing its duty and it wants you to let it go. Please leave me. When we go meddle with it, touch it, it will not like it. Pets are aversion. They will not like to be touched. Okay? Sensitive to touch. So these are a few points. 
I have taken from Google related to the nature of the honeybee. Now the next challenge is we are trying to apply this and see what mental symptoms we have in Apes Mellifica. Now before I talk to you about mind of Apes Mellifica, is the PowerPoint that I was trying to share with you, is that clear? Hmm? Okay. Now we just apply. Now what is it that you got an idea from? What I have told you. How could an Apes Mellifica lady be? How is she emotionally? She is? Yeah, she is hard to please. She is a very discontented female. Good. You can make a note of this. Discontented. Dissatisfied female. Good. Any other symptoms that will come up? Huh? Yeah, she feels herself to be a queen. Very arrogant, very haughty lady. Fine? Very arrogant and very egoistic lady. Could be. A fist. Very another. Huh? What is it? Okay, uh, they have intuitive sexual desire. We will discuss that. You were talking of something. Anger. They are very irritable. Very angry people. So we start with Apis mind. And what we see is Apis is very irritable. Apis is very irritable. Not only irritable, Apis is very frightful. A very fearful person. We will see a little later what the fears are. They are fearful, they are uh, irritable. And what is this? Very busy. Meaning, they are the kind of people who can do two, three jobs at a time. They are always doing something. Uh, multitasking. And what they are doing might be of use or it may not be of use. So there is something called as busy, fruitlessly. Please understand. In Apis, there is something called as Busy fruitlessly. When you are busy, you are doing something. You should yield something, no? So you are busy, you are doing something. But what is the outcome of you being busy? Nothing. Fine? Many times we have kids telling, Amma, I am very busy, Amma. You call them, what are they doing? They will be putting all the papers around, cutting, doing this, that and all. All waste of. Nothing useful. Burden to the mother, she has to keep cleaning. But what is the child telling? I am very busy, ma. Don't disturb me. Very busy. Fine? So, people who are busy, positively they can be busy, or they are busy without any yield, without any use. So, that is what we call it as fruitlessly busy. Okay? They are busy without yielding any fruit. So, busy people. And uh, you know you can also see them being very restless, very nervous, irritable. So these are the basic mental symptoms you have in Apis Mellifica. Okay? Am I clear? Fine, first class. Then going slow. If I go more slow, you will all doze off. Okay, anyway, we will uh, continue. Now, we will talk of irritability. What? brings on irritability in, in uh, Apis Mellifica. Why do they get irritated? Huh? Very good, good, beautiful, when touched. Huh? Anything they don't like. See, irritable when questioned. Irritable when questioned. Okay? You ask them some question and they may get irritated. Irritable when contradicted. That's what your friend was trying to tell. You are doing something against them. Hmm? Okay. You know, I don't like you doing something. So what do you do? You do what I don't like. And in the bargain, how am I reacting? I get very irritated. So irritated when questioned, irritated when contradicted. And see another uh, line. For example, he is sick. He is sick. A test patient is sick. You go to visit, fine? And uh, he is so irritated. What is he trying to tell you? He says, uh, Sir, uh, doctor, please go away. I am fine, please go away. Okay? Because naturally the doctor will start touching, uh, checking him, and all those things, which he will not like. A better remedy I want you to remember here in this situation is Armika. Is the name of a remedy? Okay? In brackets, 
you can write Arnika. Somebody when they do Arnika, they will be telling you the same situation. Arnika patient is highly irritated, he will send the doctor away, go get out, I have got nothing, I am absolutely fine. He has got 104 fever, but what is Arnika telling? I am fine, perfectly fine, who, who called you? Fine, why did you call? He might start scolding his wife, I am fine. But when you keep the temperature, the thermometer is showing 104. Okay, so that is Arnica. Arnica is a better remedy than Apis. Okay, Arnica is a better remedy than Apis. I just share a small case. Uh, you know, recently I was fortunate to treat a lady with bad UTI, urinary tract infection. Fine, uh, 80 to 100 pulses in the microscopic examination of the urine. Now, what was the beautiful thing you have in Apis? Urinary infections with yeah, you have burning pains, you have stinging pain. One key word I had used in Apis. What was that? Who was that? Who was that? You need to be a bit, bit louder. What was that one word which will emphasize Apis? Edema. Good. She had bad swelling of her uh, entire uh, body. Fine. Whenever she gets UTI, she will get edema. See, don't ignore the symptoms given by your uh, masters, Ken Clark, Herring. E. F. Harrington, Boric, there are great people who have given their experience and same way you have people coming to your clinic and I told you edema is a key key symptom in Apis. Three four days back we had uh, prescribed Apis Malefica 200 to a lady with bad UTI, burning, fine and edema. This combination never never ignore Apis Malefica. Okay. What is told you in, told in your books, same way you have patients coming to your clinic. And this is the only science where we do experimentation or we do human provings. Fine. We don't do on guinea pigs, we don't do on rats and then treat the human being. You understand the hierarchy? Where is guinea pig? Where are we? Now you should feel like a king. We are human beings. Fine. You are getting my point. So this is the only science which experiments on human beings and treat the same human being. After you experiment on human being, you treat to treat uh, the same way to the dogs, to the apes, no issues. We don't do it reverse. Okay. So edema with uh, any symptom, one remedy should be a test. We'll get back to the mind. It's not only irritability. Can you make out any difference here? This is a little more higher. Irritability is chirchirapa. Fine? And anger is gusa. You get angry. Anger is something higher. Fine? So they get angry. Angry or anger when touched. And what is or how is Apis Malefica reacting in anger? Each of you might have your own way of reacting in anger. Anybody quickly, how each of us do react in anger? You become very violent. When Apis becomes very violent. Apis can go to the extent of rage. Highest degree of anger is rage. They can go to the extent of rage. Okay? But how is he reacting in anger? Each of us have our own way of reacting. Now, how is Apis reacting? Apis breaks things. Must be your friend was trying to tell. She was not loud. But she felt happy. Yes, sir. I told this. Apis breaks things in anger. Hmm? Okay. You have Naxfamika, you have Chamomila, you have Arnika, you have many remedies they will be teaching you. And each remedy will have its own way of reacting. Apis reacts by breaking things. Okay. Many times you should have seen people breaking mobiles, okay. breaking uh, you know, uh, TV, breaking TV remote, breaking their pencil, pen, you know, huh? and a lot of things, their belongings, they tend to break. One remedy is Apis. Apis is not the only remedy, mind you. Apis is the first remedy I am teaching you. There are many remedies. Apis is one remedy. So break things. Now this is what I was trying to tell you. Very, very prominent in Apis. What is it? Huh? Very good. See, there is a word in English clumsy. 
people from english medium they understand this better clumsy what is clumsy clumsy are people who are awkward like for example you know many times we have uh, a clumsy girl when she is serving you see she is putting it outside the plate or she is dropping not that she has issues with the vision vision is clear but she drops a guy has come to see her so for example t jahan nahi dalna hai wahan dalenge so so clumsy awkward drops things very important women who are clumsy who are awkward and who drops things in appears why do they drop things why do they drop things why are they clumsy clumsiness or awkwardness in appears will come out of hurriedness they are very hasty people they want everything fast hello you want me to serve take it fell in the plate it fell in somebody else's plate it fell outside you are not bothered okay so clumsiness in appears malefica comes out of hastiness remember clumsy awkward yeah like for example they drop things they drop things okay and uh, a fearful uh, person what is appears malefica afraid of what are the fears in appears malefica one you already know it is touch they are fear of being touched good one second they are fear of birds strong fear of birds 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 okay fear of birds so tomorrow you have a patient who says sir uh, i can't uh, you know see i mean i'm very afraid of uh, very much afraid of uh, birds one remedy could be apis because there are many more remedies in your materia medica which has fear of birds one is apis medica then they also have fear of being alone fear of being alone fear of death fear of death okay fear of ghost fear of death so these are few fears you have in apis medica okay that will go ahead okay so awkward drops things from his yeah now again apis has beeping tendency people who keep beeping people who keep beeping okay they keep beeping yes as a secondary student you will be told about remedies like pulsatilla remedies like natrenol remedies like sepia okay now beeping day and night in a pis they can beep day and night and they can beep without any cause there is no reason for beeping somebody hurt you somebody hit you boyfriend ditched you you give n number of causes for everything no 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 beeping i really don't know fine right? so people who keep beeping beeping without any reason beeping in sleep beeping from sad thoughts so these are few symptoms related to beeping of apis mellifica apis now we'll come back to this part any quick guess what is it that i'm trying to highlight jealousy jealousy okay uh, one of your friend uh, rightly spoke of jealousy and i also gave you from google that the most jealous creature is apis queen sorry honey uh, i mean bee uh, honey uh, what is it queen bee queen bee is the most jealous creature now why do they go into jealousy what is that jealousy they have in apis mellifica very very important students who have already referred books can somebody throw i mean can somebody think of the reasons why apis mellifica has jealousy see in apis if you just see here i'll just give you a small background of apis i told you they are sexually very excited fine and the sexually satisfying apis is very difficult okay now in apis mellifica the jealousy is more in women first point the jealousy is more in women okay we have nakshamika 
somebody will talk of Naxvamika. In Naxvamika, the jealousy is more in men. Jealousy is more in men. Uh, I have three, four clinics, branches. Okay. And you know, you feel jealous. Oh, this man has... Uh, this is more of a uh, manly jealousy. Jealousy between men. Girl will never feel whether I have three, I have four clinics, unless I work, or unless, I will not use the word I, unless her husband has some issues with other women's, women, she may become jealous. But you growing professionally, it will not bother. But when there is a professional growth, men gets uh, jealous. Fine? So the jealousy in Naxomika is mainly between men. And the jealousy in Apis Malefica is mainly between women. First point. Now can somebody take this further? Why do they have jealousy in women? You have a beautiful image here. Okay, could be possessive, my husband. You mean to say this is her husband? Could be, we don't know. Could be. Fine. Or, or see, it could be her husband being a flirt with some other lady and she is feeling jealous. Normal or abnormal? Normal. If you don't feel jealous, okay, enjoy. <laughs> that is abnormal. Okay? Then you will be a very lucky man. <laughs> okay, we will we'll, we'll come back. So what I am trying to tell you here is, assuming, assuming this is her husband. Okay? So it, this can also be a situation in a piece. A piece man or a piece husband is a very flirtatious guy. Any beautiful women he sees, he will go keep flirting. So naturally, she will become insecure. Naturally, she will start becoming jealous. Could be one situation. The second situation in Epis is, unfortunately, she has lost her husband. Don't, it's not a reality, don't. Uh, <laughs> I am mean, I, saying this is who you her. <laughs> she lost, uh, poor lady. Don't get involved into this story so much. It's an image. This is our hypothetical thing we are imagining so that you understand the concept better. Now what is it I am trying to tell you here is, assuming she is a young widow, assuming she is a young widow, now what is that jealousy you have here? Jealousy is more sexual, jealousy is more sexual. She is jealous that you know, he has got a very, she has got a very young uh, guy, must be they are having a great time. So that is the jealousy they have in Apis. So Apis, jealousy, I have few things to tell you here. First point, what is the first point? Jealousy in women. First point, jealousy in women. In that category, what is that we have subgroup? In young widows. Second point, what is it? Young widows. And jealousy is more sexual. Jealousy is more sexual. Okay, fine. So must be she is missing that uh, sexual intimacy and she is jealous of her that she is getting everything. Okay. So sexual jealousy, suspiciousness are few things you have in Apis. Any questions at this stage? Hope it's all clear. Okay. Now the last very important point in Apis is uh, they can be very indifferent. Indifferent means any idea what indifference is? No idea. Any idea? No idea. Fine. See, indifference is not caring, not bother, not bother, not caring. They are not caring. Fine. We have uh, patients, their father who is not bothered when the son is sick, when the daughter is sick, 102, 103 fever, he is bindas, he is sleeping. He is not caring. No sir, I don't, I don't care. Fine. So not caring, not bothering, for you at second year you can take this as indifference. Okay? Apis can be indifferent. Done? And uh, this is what was I was trying to correlate, that they have got uh, increased desire, nymphomania, they are very obscene people, people with sexual thoughts, Fine. people who are live ill, E W D, obscene lived, and uh, you know uh, people with that sexual eye. Anything they look uh, at the sexual part, or they.
their uh, outcome is more uh, sexual. Right? So that kind of person is at risk. Increase, increased desire and uh, who can, who can uh, cheat husband? What is it? Women who can cheat, married women who can cheat husband. Meaning women who can have extramarital affairs. Okay, could be could be at this Marisika. Then, so before I close, uh, before we stop, a quick recap of what you have understood in the mind of Atis. Now, what did we do in the last 35-40 minutes is I explained about the B character, the honeybee nature. From there, we tried to fit in into the Atis Marisika. Uh, mental picture. So to sum up, they are very irritable, they are uh, angry, they are tearful and they are jealous. Huh? They are very clumsy. Good. Right. Agreed. They are clumsy. They are very awkward. Huh? Yeah, busy. Busy could be on a positive note or busy without any reason. Fruitlessly busy. That is also possible. Weeping, nervous, restless, dropping, dropping things, huh? awkward, indifference, all these things. Flirt. Yeah, they can be flirtatious. Flirt, flirt, flirt. I had a case recently of a boy, 26, 27 years old boy. Uh, I appreciate my assistant for taking the case so beautifully or for the patient being so honest and open, very agreed. That is a very flirtatious uh, boy. He has a girlfriend, fine. But when he sees somebody beautiful, he cannot resist. Okay. Though he's got a very active girlfriend, he is also there with her, my hona. But then uh, uh, office colleagues, somebody you know, or anywhere he sees some beautiful girl, he just goes tries to flirt, which ideally you should not do because you are already committed to a girl but he cannot resist. So that is flirtatious behavior. Okay? Okay? Yes, any quick inputs or anything uh, you want me to repeat? All clear? So with this, we end uh, Epis Malefica. I know we have taken long, long time, meaning we have taken many classes, but first job, I feel it is worth it. Next job, you will pick up things very easily. Hmm? Okay? People behind. Okay, children. Thank you. Thanks.